Hi friends, I want to read a story to you, but first I want to show you a piece of birch. This is a limb or a branch from a birch tree. Now a birch tree is special because its bark is very, very thin and you'll notice that it has kind of a white color to it. And you'll notice that there are lots of little stripes in the birch bark. This is a limb or a branch. The trees can get much larger than that stick though. And this is off the birch tree's trunk. It had fallen in a storm or after a heavy wind and I was able to peel off this piece of birch bark from the tree. You would never peel bark off a living tree that was standing upright because the bark actually protects the tree's insides, sort of like your skin protects the inside of you. So don't ever peel bark off trees. But if you see a fallen tree or stick, you can try peeling it off. And that's what I did. It's very, very thin bark. And you'll notice the white, the stripes, and this is what the inside looks like. So I have a story. This comes from the Cree Native American tribe. And here's two birch trees, but they don't have their stripes yet. And this story has been told gener generation after generation by families to explain how the birch tree got its stripes. And this is illustrated by George Littlechild. One time, Wyasakee Cock had caught a lot of ducks. Some of the ducks he plucked and some of them he put away. Then Wysakeecock built a fire to cook the ducks that he had plucked. While the ducks were cooking, Wysakeecock started to think. He was hungry, but he wanted to see if he could go a long time without eating. So he went to see these two birch trees and asked them if they would hold him fast and not let him go right away, even if he was hungry. The birch trees agreed to do what Wysakeecock asked. The birch trees held Wysakeecock for a very long time. Suddenly, a whiskey jack appeared. He wa saw Wysakeecock being held fast. And oh my, he smelled the ducks cooking. Now a whiskey jack is a kind of bird. We can see its beak right here and part of his neck. When Wise Keacock saw that whiskey jack going to his place where his ducks were cooking, he yelled, don't touch my ducks. But the whiskey jack knew of course that Wise Keacock couldn't do a thing, so off he flew. In a little while, the Whiskey Jack came back with many other birds and animals. See who he brought with him? Wise Keacock was really angry. He told the birches to let him go. Do you think they did? They wouldn't do it. Wise Keacock tried very hard to get loose, but he couldn't, and finally he fell asleep. By the time Wise Keacock woke up, the birds and animals had eaten all his ducks. There was nothing left except for a few feathers. Finally, the birches let Wysakeecock go. He went to the place where 
he had been doing his cooking and found no ducks. Why said Keacock was so angry. He broke off some willow branches and gave the birches a real whipping. So this is the whip and he snapped that whip at the birches and they caused all those scars on the birch tree's skin. See the little scars? And that's why to this day, the birch trees are striped. Now, do you think that was a good story or another way of telling how the birch tree got its stripes? It's true that Native Americans told that story, but do you think that could really happen? No, you're right. It's just a story, but it is interesting. Thanks, friends.